Hello and welcome into a Monday edition of Golden Blue Now. I'm Chip Fontanezza. Well, tonight it's the first edition of the Backyard Brawl as West Virginia takes on the Pitt Panthers. And surprisingly, Pitt hasn't been doing too well in the Big East this season. They are 2-7 and seven in the conference, and they are ranked second to last in the Big East. Now, they are 13-9 and nine overall, but things have been very streaky for the Panthers this season. They have won their last two games while West Virginia has lost its last two games. And prior to that two-game winning streak, the Panthers had lost eight games in a row. And prior to that, they had won nine games in a row. So it seems like the Panthers are back in their winning ways. But we will find out how they do tonight. And one of the reasons for the team's recent success is because the Panthers regained junior guard Trey Woodall. He missed about half of the season with a groin injury, and he averages just over 11 points per game. And senior guard Ashton Gibbs has been the leader on the squad this year. He leads the team in scoring with over 16 points per game. And of course, both these teams are going to be coming into the Coliseum fired up tonight for the Backyard Brawl. And after the Mountaineers are coming off of a tough and controversial loss in Syracuse on Saturday, the seniors know that they need to get this young Mountaineer squad back on track against the Panthers. They see us win two, um, lose two in a row, so they, they're going to come in um, ready, ready to go right at us, and we got to feel the same way. It's a grind. It's a grind in the Big East every day. Every day we play a game, it's a grind. So um, really just got to get back to the drum board, and then we only got one day to prepare for them, so it got to be a good day. I mean, I know a lot about them. The young guys don't, but um, I mean, they probably do now because they play just like Marshall. We got a good taste playing against Marshall. Pitt's going to do, I mean, do the same thing, guard the three-point line, and then run a lot of sets. Switching from the Big East Conference to the Big 12 Conference on Wednesday, the Big 12 is going to announce its football schedules for this upcoming season. And according to Big 12 Commissioner Chuck Ninus, West Virginia is going to be in the schedule. Now, WVU and the Big East haven't settled its lawsuit yet, but in a one-on-one -on -one sit-down interview with Metro News' Hoppy Kirchival, Ninus says that he still has complete confidence in WVU Athletic Director Oliver Luck and President Jim Clements that this is going to get done. They will be with us come uh, July 1, uh, 2012, and we'll play the football schedule in the uh, Big 12 Conference. Mm -hmm. But again, I must press. What's the, what do you think is the source of their confidence? Well, I think that um, they would be better to serve to tell you that themselves. I happen to know a little, but I don't think it's uh, proper for me to say they should say. Now, Wednesday is also going to be a big day for the Mountaineer football team because it is National Signing Day. The Mountaineers already have five players on campus in the 2012 recruiting class, and they have a total of 21 verbal commitments that are set to send in their letters of intent on Wednesday. There is also going to be a few players that may choose the Mountaineers on Wednesday. Some of those include offensive linemen Adam Pankey from Hamilton, Ohio. Also, Joe Caleb, a wide receiver from Midlothian, Virginia. Deshaun Rippey, a wide receiver from Pittsburgh. And there's also more that you can check out on our website, WVMetroNews.com. And remember to go to WVMetroNews.com on Wednesday for complete coverage of signing day. We will have player profiles on every single player who will sign with WV. We also have much more on our website. Well, that'll do it for this edition of Golden Blue Now. I'm Chip Fontanazza.